So who invented that wonderful subject known as geometry? Hi, my name is Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college math for nine years. And the answer to that question is, well, it's not really a who invented geometry because it's not really a one person or one civilization uh, credit. It's actually been evolved over centuries. But we do know a brief history as to the evolution of geometry. So over the next couple of minutes, here it is. In the Mesopotamia and Egyptian regions in 3000 BC, geometry got its earliest recorded start. Geometry in Latin means earth measure, and there was a lot of measurement going on. Those civilizations measured lengths, angles, areas, as well as volumes. Those were the first earliest recorded ge geometric measurements. We can credit Euclid with a lot of the advances in geometry over the years over the centuries, because in the 3rd century BC, he wrote a multi-volume work called Elements, which consisted of a lot of postulates and statements involving lines, points, angles, etc. A lot of things that he wrote led to the way of Euclidean geometry, which is obviously named after him. Rene Descartes, centuries later, discovered coordinates, which allowed us to really visualize the geometric figures and shapes in both two and three dimensions and it really paved the way for us to analyze geometric figures from a visual standpoint. But there's another branch of geometry that's out there, non-Euclidean geometry, which replaces Euclid's fifth postulate with other statements. And mathematicians such as Lobachevsky and Frederick Gauss helped pave the way for non-Euclidean geometry in the 19th century. So as recently as a couple of hundred years ago, we have geometry still evolving. So I'm Jimmy Chang, and that's a brief history as to the invention or evolution of geometry.